Okay, we're going to start this lesson by saying, Call the law, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh by Shem HaKadosh. Double honors to the elect of GMS preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is King Jesse back with another Bible lesson. We're going to go into the mark of the beast. So before we go into this lesson, it's going to be a quick impromptu lesson. And before we go into this lesson, Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit. And Baha Shem means in the name. So when you call on your Lord and Savior, your power, you call on the name of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah. You no longer call on the fake ass name of Jesus Christ. Letter J was invented in 1524, so that shit gonna get you killed. His name is Yahweh Shah. And uh, father name, God name is Yahweh. In the Paleo Hebrew language, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites. You so called white people, you are the biblical Edomites. Starting with the wicked elite, uh, banking families, the Rothschilds, and Rockefellers, pursuant to Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And let's get into this lesson the RFID microchip implant. It's the mark of the beast. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you the mark of the beast right here. Keep it plain and simple. This is the mark of the beast right here. The mark of the beast right here that the Bible is talking about. Microchip implanted in your skin to be your COVID vaccine passport. This is the mark of the beast as the Bible is referring to. A right size microchip implanted under your skin to be your vaccine passport. A Swedish tech startup says it's a device. Its device could be customized to displace people COVID-19 vaccine, vaccination records according to a video from South China Post. Post posted Friday on Twitter. See, they're going to um, crash the economy and then they're going to issue this as a fix it all. Get this fucking video up off here. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't mess with my fucking audio. But, um, they're going to crash the economy, crash the dollar because the uh, dollar's collapsing and they're going to issue a, a crypto digital currency and it's going to store your vaccination records. First and foremost, and then it's gonna uh, it's gonna house your digital wallet, and they're gonna do away with the paper currency. See, that's what this COVID nineteen pandemic is all about. It, it's the new world order. It, it, they're trying to usher in their new world order. They want to get away from this uh, Federal Reserve notes. That's what your paper is. Read the top of it. Federal Reserve notes, IOUs. It's not backed by no gold or no nothing. So this shit is collapsing. You see the massive inflation that's going on right now. All this shit is being done on purpose so they can usher in that new world order. And these COVID vaccine, uh, vaccine passports that can be inserted under your skin is going to be the mark of the beast. This is the cherry on top of the pile right here. This is the end all be all. This is what this shit has been all about the entire time. The devil is trying to get you implanted and, and inserted into his beast system. The beast that is being mentioned of the revelation is the United States of America, the U United, the U uh, European Union, and the NATO allies. That is the beast. And they're trying to uh, complete their beast system right here. And this is the cherry on top of the, um, you know, pile right here, basically. This is what this shit has been all about this whole entire time. It's getting you implanted. And if you take this implant, your ass is fucking grass. Let's get it. In the Bible. Revelation 13 and 16. And it causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. It says all. Both small, great, rich, and poor, free, and bond. So this is global. This is on a global scale. This is not just, you know, to one area. This is a global thing. Just like this pandemic, this pandemic, pandemic is a global thing, right? So they already, this is already got the settings down right now. 
You know what I'm saying? And now verse number 17, and, and that no man might buy or sell, said he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the name, number of his name. So, and like I said, when they crashed this economy and they issued a digital cryptocurrency to the government, and you can go ahead and um, search, uh, type that into your search engine because they already had this technology ready to roll out already, and the uh, government has already been experimenting with um, crypto digital currency already. Go ahead and research it. Now this uh, chip is going to open up possibilities for them. They're going to be able to put your vaccination record and then you're going to be able to put your medical information in there. They're going to be able to put your bank account information in there. They're going to make this seem like this is like the new way to be. It's going to be clean. You're not going to be able to get dirty no more because you're scanning your hand. You're not going to have paper. See, this is going to seem like uh, an easier way of life for you, you know, but it's the mark of the beast. You know, said verse number 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for if the number of a man, the number is 600, three scores and six. And you see the 666 everywhere and the Disney logos and all all over this people kingdom. So you know what side they on already, man. So stop. Take the wool off your fucking eyes, man. You see who, the people, who these people are worshiping right now. You know what I'm saying? They're worshiping the spiritual demon Satan. These are the biblical Edomites, man. Starting with the elite banking family. Research Anthony Russo. Go to YouTube and type in Anthony Russo and let him tell you everything that the wicked elite wants to do. And it matches perfectly up with what this Bible says and what the prophets of the Lord are telling you right now. This is the mark of the beast. And this is going to be the punishment for those that take the mark of the beast. This is going to be the punishment for receiving the mark. Let's bring it back a few more. Okay, Revelation 14 and 9. If you take this mark, because y'all already worshiping the beast by taking this um, his vaccine, because the, like in the book of Job said, these people are physicians of no value. And um, like the Lord said, never trust thine enemy. So-called white man is your enemy. They have never, never, have they shown you otherwise? They're your enemy. Never trust thine enemy. And for you guys that took the vaccine, you all, that is a form of worship and the beast. You're pushing forth his beast agenda. So you ask that's a form of worship. And Revelation 14 and 9, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, and his image, taking that vaccine and pushing that vaccine on others to get it, you're, that's actually a form of worship in the beast because you're pushing forth his agenda and receive his mark in his forehead and his hand. And like I said, um, Elon Musk, Neuralink will be the forehead. Um, you, he's going to get involved with this. That Neuralink will be the forehead and that will fulfill uh, that part of the prophecy. Verse number 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So the Lord is gonna, um, you're gonna have the Lord is gonna whoop your ass, basically. It's gonna like a straight up drink, man, without mixture. You know, no chaser, no nothing. You just got to drink this punishment, and it's gonna be a tough punishment. And ain't gonna be no, it's gonna be better. You ain't gonna be able to chase this punishment down with a soldier. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Verse number 11. And the smoke of their torment shall ascend up forever and ever. So, when the nuclear missiles hit, during World War III, the Lord is going to leave you down here and going to burn. It says that it shall come a day when the whole earth shall burn as an oven. And they have no rest day nor night. 
who worship the beast and his image, and whoever shall receive the mark of his name. So once you, so basically, we're gonna know who has the mark of the beast and who worship the image. We're gonna know this because the Lord basically said it. They're not gonna have no rest day nor night. So once they receive the mark in the, um, the mark of the beast, they're gonna wake up in cold sweats. They're going to be going through it. They're going to have sores all over the bodies, all over their bodies. So you're going to physically know who took the uh, mark because it's going, to, it's, going to, it's going to cause cancer, man. So you so-called black, Spanish, and Native American Indians, this is the mark of the beast that the Bible was talking about. It's time to repent and come back to your Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. I call on the fake ass name of Jesus Christ, your Lord's name, and the Paleo Hebrew language is Yahweh Shah. It's time to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, which means to keep these commandments to the best of your abilities. And um, adjust that ball seven times to get up, so we're not going to be able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. But like I said, we will rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So it's time to come back to your power, get back to this Bible. Um, we got next, so um, I'll come up with part two. We're just going to kind of stay on that theme now that they rolled off the mark of the beast. And we got we to gotta sound the sound alarm bells and lift off our voices like a trumpet and let the people know like danger is coming because it's, the devil is about to come down with great wrath. And he's gonna, when he makes this thing mandatory, World War Three will kick off shortly thereafter. We're going to go into that and and our future lessons, Lord willing. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end this lesson, Yahweh. All praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. By Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the elect. Preaching his word in truth and sincerity. And anyone teaching likewise doctrine. King Jesse. I will another Bible lesson. RFID microchip vaccine passport. It's the mark of the beast. Don't take it. And we got next.